Good morning guys, good morning guys, good morning. Today is another beautiful day. Even though I look like a tennis ball, but I'm here in St. Martin about to catch the shortest commercial flight to Sabre. This guy is spelled S-A-B-A. -A. And I am here, it's very early in the morning. There's not really nobody here. So hopefully I can get uh, the first seat so I can actually see over the cockpit and um, let's enjoy this journey here so see you on the other side guys we are currently still in the airport um, I guess they switch our gates so officially I got a tour <laughs> of the airport and um, I hope my voice is exuding here but um, guys this flight is going to Seba, which is the shortest commercial runway and um, even though it's the shortest ru runway there was never an accident so that is impressive
Welcome to Seba. Thank you. Guys, if you've seen this video, that means we have landed. That was the shortest commercial runway. And guys, you see what the camera did. It was rough. But you know, the runway is only so long. And that plane is actually a stall, short takeoff or landing. That's the reason why we can land and, uh, and rise really, really quick. But officially, I am in Seba. And um, let's see where this journey takes us. Seba is part of the Netherlands Antilles, guys. And it's literally a 12 minute flight on a small plane from St. Martin, Dutch St. Martin. And this is the plane here. Guys, this is what I'm talking about. Renewable energy, self-sustainable. Look at the amount of panels, solar panels. Lit at the mountainside. They should provide so much electricity for Seba, Angola. Please step up. Look at this. The coverage of the land and still it consumes all the energy from the sun. We need to look forward to this. A more renewable city, country, world. Guys, look, look at it. Look at the mountains. Look at this one here. I will be going up there. This is the flight that just dropped me off. And literally, five, six minutes later, I'm through customs. And here the plane is leaving again. This runway is extremely, extremely short. And you're gonna see how fast this plane is up, up and away. There's something about a plane exhaust. And you will see it's off the rock. And guys, to the right, look at that. To the right, over here, over here. You can hear the plane, the echo of the plane just going through the mountains. Welcome to Seba. Look at all the homes, it's just nestled up in the mountain. Can you imagine the view, the cool breeze? <laughs> you may have just noticed I said the rock. Technically, Seba is a rock. A volcanic rock believe it or not this is an active volcano island this used to once been owned by the French the English and Spanish now it's owned by the Dutch and as I stated earlier this has the shortest commercial runway in the world and only a few planes can actually fly here however there has never been an accident when it comes to aviation. This island boasts five square miles. That's it, five square miles. And it's known as the island of women. And the reason for that, way back in the day, when all the men go out to fish to support their homes, it allow visitors uh, infiltration from other places to come and infiltrate these guys women <laughs> there's only three schools basically on this island a primary an elementary and a medical school there's eight churches on the entire island that boasts a population of 2,000 guys you see this house in the background 
this is my great aunt home and I didn't know I had family here and I was introduced to my family for the first time guys this is the first time I've been in Saber and um, the taxi lady actually give a little shout out to yourself Hi, I'm Jonah <laughs> Jonah guys hey when you in Saber you gotta look for Jonah Jonah will definitely take care of you but she know my family and she brought me here look how beautiful Hi. she is <laughs> Welcome to Sable. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Hassan. Yeah. Justin. This is my cousin Justin. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, so you guys excited. welcoming me. Oh wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> and you can tell your family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hospital under construction. Age home is there. And it's also age home for seniors. There's a home center at the school school years ago in the bottom. Years ago the schools were between the bottom and windward side, but now all the schools are in the village of Santa John. This plaque is a Dutch plaque that commemorates all those who died in the building of the road. And I do believe it encompasses six islands: Saber, Stacia, St. Martin, Carousel, and Aruba. I think Bonnet as well. This island is totally safe. There is one police station. There is one jail with three cells and the cells are empty as we speak. This area over to your left is called the, the Promised Land. And most of the people who lived in the Promised Land, they were mostly whites. There were some blacks, but the majority were whites. And they were people from Mary's Point, which is at the back of the land. Mary's Point used to be a village years ago, okay. but in 1934 the Red Cross Society moved everyone from Mary's Point because there were no facilities, no roads, no electricity, nothing. And some of the people they put in the Promised Land and some they put in Zion's little village. Say that there was no way that roads could have been built here on Sierra. We are approaching this steep, steep, steep corner. And guys, you heard what Jonah just said. Everything was built by hand, no machinery. Peaks and shovels. Peaks and shovels. Can you imagine how tedious making this road on a slope where there's fallen boulders from the mountains coming down on you? This is simple ingenuity. Look how steep and sharp the roads are. We are literally on the opposite side of the street. And this is a small bus. Can you imagine if it was a big truck, a big bus? I can just imagine coming up the hill in my car, <laughs> smoking the tires around each corner. Wow. This is just beautiful. Just going down between the two mountains. A little scary because there's big boulders up on top of the hill. I should say mountain. I say hill because Anguilla really don't have mountains. We have hills. But look how the turquoise water ahead. And look how clean the streets are. No bottles on the side of the road. Actually, I saw a bag floating around um, a couple of minutes ago. But. Besides that, look how beautiful it is. There is also one post office on the entire island. And I know my hardcore Jamaicans and Rasta man them, them can't live Sabre. Because the capital of Sabre is the bottom. And the Rasta man them are run away from the bottom, you know. Mm -hmm. Imagine this. All the houses on the entire island is white. Every single house is white, but some of them have an accent of red or blue or green. But it is law, I guess, that every single house has to be white. Imagine that. 
Sabre receives 25,000 tourists every year and every year it constantly climbing plus the population is only 2,000 so can you imagine how many tourists versus locals incredible imagine that we are approaching Fort Bay Harbor. There is ferry boats that arrive and depart daily. If you are a diver, you can charter a boat to see the unspoiled queen of the Caribbean under the sea. I need to not mention how beautiful and tranquil these blue waters are. I say blue, I should be saying turquoise. Look at that beautiful serene harbor. And guys, there's a wall of art by local artists. Take a look at it. We don't make justice now. We proclaim from all resist action. They must refrain. If your life matters, then our life matters too. Watching you kill my brother, man, that's no cool. God help us to resist the oppressor. True, this is the time. Let's start up and fight for Now we're looking out, but that's not enough. We must take action. Please no use violence, let's fight with our voices, let's do it with passion. The injustice, the racism, you don't deserve to live in our world. Whether you are white or you are black, let's live together cause we need you like you need. Black life matter, we wanna be free. Black life matter to the highest degree. Let me tell you something that is very important about Sabre. Actually, I'm going to give you three pieces of advice. You need to have gas. Because if your gas is too low in your vehicle and you're going uphill, you might have a problem. Another piece of advice, you have to have great brakes. You need brakes. And the third piece of advice, be prepared. Because unlike Anguilla, Anguilla's flat, is very steep rocky rigid and guys there's no flatness there's either uphill or downhill that's the only two directions you have we used to have the courthouse there that's where people used to get married but on the 31st of on the 30th of november they opened the new courthouse at the wing three persons but like i said it's empty most of the times it is empty the crime rate is very very low on the island before the main road was built. Okay. Yeah. So years ago everything was trails and steps and we also used donkeys and horses to get back. Side straight to the sea, to the ocean. This is the way to go to the Ladder Bay and the Wells Bay. So you have to climb steps to get to the Ladder Bay. Years ago, everything was brought up on the heads from the Ladder Bay. Okay. I think it was like 800 steps they had to climb. Wow. And um, yeah. At the Wells Bay, that's where you get a little beach that goes on farms. Okay. Every few months, the sand comes and then afterwards it goes. Thanks so much for the support. Guys, go ahead and support my YouTube channel. I am underscore Stefan. Support my brothers and my sister. Sintake underscore one. Only Mawida and African Village Cook.